Okay everybody, this is Moody Dashcam. Today we're going to be putting ourselves in the shoes of the mob cops, Louis Avellito and Steven Caracapo. So right now we're shooting over to a social club that is in Bensonhurst at 1628 Bath Avenue. It was a known, it was a known Gambino hangout. Frank DeChico used to hang out over there. Um, he actually got killed a few blocks away from here at uh, 86th Street and 16th Avenue. He got blown up the car bomb. That's for another video. So, we're putting ourselves in the shoes of them. November 6, 1990, there was a contract out on Eddie Lino from Anthony Gaspipe Casso. And the mob cops were paid $75,000 to carry out this hit. So, it says Eddie Lino leaves his, they follow him from his social club. Now, I looked up Eddie Lino's social club. Uh, I couldn't find anything on it. I'm sure you guys know exactly where his social club was, but I searched for hours and couldn't find it. But, the social club that I did find is at this address right here. I'm going to wait for this taxi to pull up. No taxi? You're not going anywhere? It's right behind this tree. Come on. Okay, so this brown, these brown doors right here are where the social club was. So you have to imagine, they probably know his description and his car. So he's in a 1990 Mercedes-Benz, brand new. Like I said, it's November 6, 1990. We're following him through here. Now we're just going to guess, this is the fastest route that you'd be able to take to where he eventually gets killed. So follow along through there. Now a little bit of info on Louis Apolito and Steven Caracapa. Over their span of time working for the Mafia, it's alleged they made about $375,000. I don't know what that ends up being in today's money, but I know for this hit alone, they got paid 75,000 in 1990, which would be worth 155,000 today. So they weren't getting paid a little amount of money to carry out these hits, I'll tell you that. And at this point, they carried out a few hits already. They already helped out with uh, James Heidel, kidnapped him to deliver to Casso. Which is one of the reasons why Eddie Lino had this contract out on him. Because he was one of the people that was involved in that hit. Which resulted in Casso getting shot with a shotgun a couple times. And he was also involved in the Castellano hit. Which was really an unsanctioned hit carried out by John Gotti. That a few of the families weren't really happy with. Casso being one of the people that wasn't happy with it. were running rampant. This was people were getting killed left and right. So Eddie Lino is a Gambino captain. He is a very careful about not having himself killed. He would really only meet with people on appointment. He was very weary of anyone he didn't know. So there weren't many ways to get this guy killed besides the way they figured out. And like I said, the mob cops were getting pretty brazen at this point. They carried out a couple hits by this time. 
In total, they carried out eight murders for the Mafia. So now we're getting onto the Bell Parkway. Heading east. Now I would imagine the mob cops were in an unmarked car. Maybe they were in one of the personal cars, but if they weren't, they were probably in a, like a 1990 Chevy Caprice. Maybe an older model because it was 1990. The cops don't have the newest cars. And Eddie Lino is in a 1990 S-Class Mercedes Black. Spends, you know, all nice, the S class.
there's a decent spot to pull over. Let's just say he gets pulled over right here. So he gets flashed with the lights or the badges, pulls over. Guy, cops come up to the window. I believe Kara Kappa was the one to actually pull the trigger. Shoots him nine times in the head and chest. Uh, later, Luis Epolito was asked why it was Kara Kappa. He said because he was a better shot. What does it matter who's a better shot? You're right at the dude's window. So they shoot him. Now the guy's car is still in drive. So after they shoot him, they take off, of course. And he rolls his car into the bushes. And that's it. That's pretty much everything I have to tell you about the murder of Eddie Lino by the infamous mob cops. See you in the next one.